An iconic staple of modern science fiction, popular TV show Doctor Who has been a source of pop culture for decades and has grown a dedicated fan base over its long run. The series follows a character named the Doctor, a hyper-intelligent, double-hearted alien, part of a race called the Time Lords from the planet Gallifrey. He travels throughout space and time in a machine called the TARDIS, which resembles an old blue police box and is bigger on the inside, fighting monsters, going on adventures, and time and time again saving humanity. Since the show's conception by creator Sidney Newman in 1963, there have been many actors to play the Doctor. What gives Doctor Who longevity and makes it so unique is the Doctor's ability to regenerate. Whenever he comes close to death, he can regenerate into a new person, healed and ready to go. Each new actor to come into the role gives a fresh take on the Doctor while still remaining the same person at heart. The first actor to play the Doctor was William Hartnell who ran from 1963 to 1966. After leaving the show due to health complications and bad relations with the new production team, producer John Wiles and script editor Donald Tosh proposed the idea of regeneration to keep the show running. With their genius idea implemented, the first Doctor regenerated for the first time, introducing Patrick Troughton as a second Doctor. After Troughton, Doctor Who jumped into the era of color, with John Pertwee taking the role as the third Doctor. He added action-packed sequences to an otherwise family-oriented program, giving the show an edgier tone alongside the family-friendly content. Next was crowd favorite Tom Baker, taking the role in 1974. Every new Doctor has a costume that he wears for his run on the show, and when Tom Baker was shown with a ridiculous uber-long multicolored scarf, it foreshadowed his fantastically fun run. Though his departure from the show was regretted by many fans, viewers had no trouble liking the fifth Doctor, Peter Davidson. Keeping the weird costume choices going, the fifth Doctor sported a piece of celery on his jacket for decoration. Colin Baker, the sixth Doctor, also had an unusual outfit, sporting a vibrantly colored circus-esque costume. The goofy seventh Doctor, played by Sylvester McCoy, sported a question mark jacket and umbrella. Though Doctor Who was loved by audiences, the BBC's new channel, BBC Two, demanded more money than the company had. So, partly in thanks to the television controller at BBC's hatred for the show, it was cancelled in 1989. After years of drought, it was decided a television movie would be released in 1996, featuring Paul McGann as the new 8th Doctor, in hopes of gathering supporters for a restart. After the unsuccessful attempt to get Doctor Who back on its feet, somehow, the decision was miraculously made to reboot the show in 2005, featuring Christopher Eccleston as the new Ninth Doctor. With a new story arc and well-rounded showrunner Russell T. Davies taking over production, it was a hit with fans. After the Ninth Doctor's successful run, fan favorite David Tennant jumped into the role and was a hit ever since. Tennant's energetic and quirky Doctor added a lighter and more fun air to the show, while still being able to get dark sometimes, as Doctor Who always does. It was announced that new showrunner Stephen Moffat would be taking over from Russell T. Davies after David Tennant's run was over. Both Tennant and Davies were dearly missed by fans, but it's debatable that new Doctor, Matt Smith's tenure alongside Stephen Moffat, was even more successful. Though some older audiences didn't like his overly wacky nature and the introduction of a sometimes cheesy love interest, it was a delightful change of pace for most. In late August of this year, a new season of Doctor Who began, with Scotsman Peter Capaldi playing the 12th Doctor. With the series just getting started, who knows what this version of the Doctor will be like. Doctor Who villains and monsters are also seen throughout pop culture and can be easily spotted. The infamous Cybermen, or the easily recognizable Daleks, can be seen many times on the show, both uttering their catchphrases. Doctor Who fans reach far and wide across the world, and all love the show for different reasons. How about we sit down with some people and find out what they love about Doctor Who? Alright, we're here with Cassandra Lynn, Tyler, my sister Lauren. So, how long have you been watching the show? Uh, not very long, only a couple of episodes. I started watching the show maybe a month ago. 2013. So who's your favorite Doctor out of what you've seen? So far, uh, I'd have to say it's the 10th Doctor. Yeah! Uh, Doctor 11, Matt. Oh, Matt Smith. You know what? I thought David Tennant was a little better, but hey. Uh, the 11th Doctor. 10th Doctor was way better. Um, and what do you think's like the coolest about the show? The coolest? Well, 
I think the, the TARDIS is definitely one of the right. coolest parts. Solid. Everything. Like, I can't really choose a favorite, right. you know? It's There's so to much do. good. So much good. Um, how it makes everyone feel like a hero. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs>